channel on this uh, Sunday, March 3rd, and it is 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's 4 52. I think I keep on moving this too quickly. Get him out of uh, still time on that. Okay, well, I bought the ingredients for chili a couple of days ago. And um, it's 5 o'clock. I slept until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So my, I'm all messed up again with my sleep schedule. And uh, I looked at the hamburger. It says sell through March 1st. So it's still good, but it turns that off color, you know. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make the chili now. Put it in the slow cooker and at least have it on for, uh, you know, 12 hours and have some chili tonight. So I was going to brown the hamburger, but I did it on the stove. So here's my slow cooker. What is this again? probably don't even make these anymore and uh, one pound of 90% lean ground beef with a yellow onion so I'm just going to disappear for a second and put this in and this is cold <laughs> Three poblanos 
and I don't know if you're supposed to or not, I put the um, jalapenos in there too and left one out uh, that I'll just dice up and put on the top for, you know, visual look. But I did this over a week ago. I made chili. I had chili for a whole week. It was so good. But I roast the peppers and put them in a bowl with saran wrap over them. And it makes it easy to get the skins off. So let me take a look at that. Check up on that. Because they've been so, in for a while. They look terrible, but um, the skin comes off. That's so how you just get the flesh. And it adds a little bit of smoky flavor to the chili, I guess. But that's what they look like. Yeah, it looks like they've been in too long, but the, that's just the skin. So let me get these in a bowl and then cover them so they steam more. So what I did is I just put them in this bowl and I used the foil that I had on the sheet pan. So I don't even think I have any saran wrap left over. Okay, so these are all the spices. I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, maybe I'll wait until there's more volume in here. I'll start off with a can of these petite diced tomatoes. some of the and then this beef broth one and a half cups Thank you. 
roasted tomatoes in addition to the tomato sauce and the diced juice and all. Basically, these just fall apart. 
very hot. Probably could keep him in even longer to help this. Well, that's that's it. I don't think I'm gonna clean this out. It's just a little bit here. And uh, I don't know. You leave all the seeds in and everything. Maybe not. I'll clean that out. Oh, you know what I wanted? Well, I still have one. I can use these seeds to, to plant some jalapenos. So there's Oh, that's the, I didn't think the jalapeno was going to, going to work, but it did. So, that's, how you just get the meat from a pepper. doesn't actually call for bell peppers. I think I had another recipe. I couldn't find it. The one that I had used last week. Anyways, you can't go wrong. You just make it your own. So let me get back to you when I have all these cut up. This is going to be so good. See that? Well, that's just the meat. That's what I want if you get a little bit of this skin. What's this piece here? Oh, that's just one half. Wow. So, here are the peppers, if you can see there, whoops, so in go the peppers. Just have to plug this in and let the magic work. So I'm just going to uh, put the lid on, put the 
this on the counter. And I'll see you in 12 hours. So it's now Sunday, March 3rd. It's 8 o'clock. Is it 8 o'clock? It's 8.22. And that chili's done. But I was going to have a chili dog when I'm all hot dogged out. I've had three so far. Nothing today, but yesterday I had one. Day before. And then that video. But chili's done. It's a little soupy, but... Hot sauce. Smother these in sauce.
that's what I see in the online. Sour cream. Uh, oh, yeah, it was going to be for the chili, so it doesn't matter. A little bit of sour cream. That looks good. slices of jalapeno. Oh, this is where I should probably accidentally rub my eyes. I know now my eyes are going to itch or something. Now another thing, very strange, is Sure is a perfectly ripe avocado. A couple of avocado slices. This is really fancy chili. I think you're supposed to go with like threes, not even numbers. Okay. I can put this on the plate. That worked out. Hey, you know what? I tried this once before, and then I, I neglected. see this. Doesn't have to be a clean spoon, I guess. The only thing missing is that for a meal. So if you have an extra, if you have 12 hours, you can spare. Okay, let's see. Oh. Insult the cook by putting Tabasco on it even before tasting it. So this is the cheese. I'm going to put it on a cracker.
I think it has improved. I kept on sampling it to see if it was warming up, then to see if it was hot enough, and then once it was was cooking, I put it on medium. I didn't want to go to bed with this thing on high. Makes me paranoid, Evan. I mean, you do it with refrigerator and your other appliances, but something about having the slow cooker that I know that's what it's made for just uh, doesn't make you feel comfortable having a heating element on while you're sleeping. So, wow. Let me try a little bit of the uh, cream cheese with... I'm going to put it on a cracker. I just love having crackers and chili. I haven't put the butter on yet. I didn't think about taking the butter out to get it softened up. time. I put the oven for 12, 425. I always forget what the temperature is supposed to be. I gotta Google it. Then I patted them off. I know you, you do that to get a crispier uh, skin or crispier wing. Get all the moisture off. I tried one, one recipe one day. They said you put like baking powder or something.
was so good I didn't even have a sip of my beer yet. some texture. I can still see them in there, but they're really... And I put up, I ended up putting, it wasn't even warmed up yet. Um, I put like a, ta a teaspoon or a tablespoon of salt while it was uh, a level tablespoon, but it was the coarse salt. And then I put that recommended, like another tablespoon, or I eyeballed it like a tablespoon of sugar. That's about, about all I added. But when I was sampling it, I said, man, this isn't as good as the one I made a couple of weeks ago. But now that the last hours of it cooking, it seems to have uh, brought it up to par with the first batch. And it doesn't have to be that exact with the measurements, you know. It is a little bit maybe more liquidy, but it's, it's thickening up. Tastes good with the um, sour cream, though.
it's just the um, let's see how the coleslaw works in with this meal thinking that I was going to add more salt but I, I, I used low salt ingredients I think I had I think it was low salt or no salt added broth no salt added tomatoes this ended up being just very nice yesterday without having a, no I had a slice yesterday Dessert. Not so close to having a beer. Wow, just as I looked up at the camera, it turned off because I went over time. say so myself if I don't say so myself
guys, how did this happen? Well, since it's here, I might as well try it. Or might as well eat it. It's blueberry pie. And I gotta finish this. I think this is still good. I think these dates are just a suggestion. This is, it's got a date of August of 23, August 15. so good. <laughs> How did everything come together today? I don't know. Just did. meal that was homemade chili with buffalo wings, coleslaw, blueberry pie, and a Corona. And like I said, I don't think you can, unless you go overboard on some of the spices, just, just get the, uh, the recipe offline, I mean online, with the, uh, you can, you can use different types of beans or no beans, just, um, you know, ground beef with no beans, chili, they still put in, but when they still put in like diced tomato, I don't know. if you want to stop and buy. I don't know if I could edit this video to be less than an hour. But, um, yeah, started this yesterday. This 
journey yesterday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Put all the ingredients together, let it cook for 12 hours, more than 12 hours, on medium. And put the chicken wings in at the last minute. I was planning on doing a hot dog. Excuse me. A chili dog, but... I think the wings paired up with the chili. But I don't think there's any strict rules about that. And, um... This refreshing coleslaw but I like the addition of the sour cream avocado lime juice um, on the chili that was pretty good and my avocados ended up being perfectly ripe too